Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. We all know that CRM can do, perform a lot of fancy things in automations and do a lot for our business. However, today we're gonna to be focusing on the basics of CRM. And I'm gonna actually be logging into Dynamics 365 to show you some of those basic functions and hopefully get you started with using CRM. So what I can do is of course I can track accounts, which could be customers or prospects. So I have all these accounts here and these are existing ones. We're gonna actually walk through adding an account. And so you can get the idea that I can add information. So let's say I'm talking to ABC company. I can put their information in here, add their phone number, and then track other information against this record. So I'd also have a primary contact that I could add in. So ABC company, I've actually been talking to Jill Jones, and she's the president over there. So I'm just gonna enter in her information, and I can enter in whatever I have. So the nice thing is that I'm already starting to put information into my CRM that I can hopefully get use out of later. So we'll look at that and adding information to Jill Jones's record in a minute. So I could add in her mobile phone, business phone, etc. And you get the idea. So add all that in easy, breezy. Let's add in some other items here. Looking to purchase lots of pencils and save that record. So as easy as that, I've actually added a prospect to my system. Rather than keeping track of them in Outlook or maybe on a pad of paper that I have, maybe even a file on my server. So the nice thing about Dynamics is that I'm keeping this information in a cloud all at once. So I add that information to Dynamics 365 or your CRM, and I can actually access that from anywhere. So whether that's my mobile device, I can be walking through an airport, I look at my phone, I can pull that record up, click on the phone number, call Jill, see how everything's going, and then I don't need to have access to my computer or information that might be sitting on my desk somewhere. So it's nice to have that, not to mention you don't need to take care of a server or anything like that that we used to have to do when we had CRM solutions. So those days are becoming very antiquated now. So I've got this account in the system. I have Jill Jones in here as a contact. I can put information in against the records as well. So another thing I can do is I can capture information. So that history that I have, it might not be an email, right? I might call Jill and I wanna put that information into the system. Well, I can track my emails. I can also track my phone calls. So I'm gonna enter in a phone call here and I'm gonna say talk to Jill. for 40 minutes about what she needs. See notes below. And I could have typed in whatever I needed here. I could really write a novel if I want to. So I could put a lot of information in there and capture that record. So it's really nice that I can keep this history so I don't need to remember everything I've done with Jill or rely on my memory. I'd see that inside of the system also other users would see that, which is really important. So let's say your customer service rep takes a phone call from Jill who's trying to reach you. You'd be able to tell by looking at the CRM record in addition to getting notified by the employee. So we'd be able to tell how many touch points we had, which is also really great. So I have all this information. Basics are I'm getting the information into Dynamics 365 or your CRM. I'm capturing it in any history I have with them, including those phone calls. And then the other nice thing is I can look it up later, right? So I could simply use my search functionality and look up Jill Jones here. Find that record, add to the record, right? I might find out what another phone number is and just do some basic contact management, which is really a nice and neat place to keep it. So. Here I actually don't need to explicitly save these pages, they'll save themselves, then they'll have that information for later which I can obviously add to or report on. So we're seeing all that inside of here and I can find it later and look at it inside of different views. So real quick, let's just take a look at a list of those accounts. If we're doing that basic management, basic functionality, I can see the records in the system, I can drill down into those records, I can add more records by clicking the plus symbol and I can search on those records. So as I click through, 
I can find the records and go back and also add those phone calls and memorialize what I'm doing. So the other thing to note about having your um, CRM instance um, like this is that you have it up in the cloud, which we talked about. We don't need to manage servers or have IT folks that are helping us. I have access from the road or my mobile device, um, and I don't need any fancy software installed. I can simply install an application on my Android or my iPhone and pull up the records and even track more information directly from there. So hopefully this was helpful and you can find a use to really get started with CRM in the basic functionality and then hopefully graduate to higher levels and more features. Thanks for joining me. Join me next time for more information on CRM. It's Miriam Florio, and today we're going to be going through Microsoft Dynamics 365 buzzwords. So there are a lot of words out there that people use when they're talking about CRM, and I want to address those words and hopefully clarify it so it's a little bit easier to understand the whole concept. Number one term that